A French factory started importing rare uranium ore from Oklo in the Gabon Republic of Africa in 1972. Many people immediately started to question where they had found such a difficult item to make. It found out that the uranium had originated from a location that should have changed the course of history. Welcome to my channel, Historical Studies. Before diving into the mysteries of history there is a small reminder, if you are really interested in this kind of information do not hesitate to, subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on our new videos. Findings They discovered that the origin location had served as a sizable nuclear reactor. Amazingly, this reactor was in use for more than 500,000 years and was operational around 1.8 million years ago. These unbelievable statements were not made by anyone simple. They were conclusions by some of the greatest minds on Earth. For instance, Dr. Glenn T. S. Seaborg, a Nobel Prize winner for his work on the synthesis of heavy elements and a former head of the United States Atomic Energy Commission, addressed the press with an explanation of why he thought the event could not have been a result of nature and was instead man-made. He stated that for uranium to burn in a reaction, very precise conditions are needed. The water needs to be incredibly pure much purer than exists anywhere naturally. This type of nuclear fission also requires the presence of U-235, one of the isotopes that uranium does not naturally contain. Reactor engineering experts have also stated that they do not believe the uranium in Oklo could have been sufficiently rich in U-235 for a reaction to occur naturally. It must have, somehow, been a man-made operation. New researches. New research has only deepened the mystery, confirming that water regulates the nuclear reactions in a cyclic pattern similar to that of a geyser. Washington University of St. Louis researchers have discovered that the Oklo reactor, which consists of numerous distinct sites, operated for 30 minutes before shutting down for 2.5 hours and then starting over. According to Meschik, the timing is typical of water infiltrating rocks and then boiling off after the reaction occurs. The reaction stops after the water has completely boiled off and continues once fresh water has percolated back down. The nuclear fuel at Oklo was uranium, specifically U-235, and currently, U-235 only makes up about 0.7% of the uranium found naturally on Earth just who could have possibly been around over 1.8 million years ago. Is the history of man on Earth truly so old? That is exactly the case, according to multiple nuclear experts and the strong evidence they provide. Ancient Visitors Many individuals believe that theories about ancient astronauts are just modern pseudoscience that have no basis in truth. However, since the beginning of human history, there has been talk of extraterrestrial visits from other worlds in galaxies far away. Although the theory has unquestionably grown immensely popular over the past several decades, almost every ancient tribe and culture that can be found on Earth, regardless of location, has a myth about visits from other worlds. The Dogons of Africa, one of the oldest still existing tribes on the planet, would have to be our choice for the most captivating story. In addition to having a story about alien visitors, they also managed to maintain priceless information, trustworthy knowledge that was passed down from generation to generation, and specifics about their ancient visitors' home solar system that, at the time, modern civilization had not yet discovered. Known as the Namo, the Dogon tale of giant reptilians who had traveled here from a small sister star of Sirius, a star with a 40-year orbit that the Dogons still celebrate every 40 years. Namo's home star is a small star that was not confirmed by modern telescopes until several years after the first cataloging of this information. These interplanetary guests frequently offered gifts such as knowledge. Due to these revelations, many of our ancestors have perceived these beings as godlike. The Doga could be thought of as memorial works made by those who once visited our planet. It was during the late Jaman period, over 10,000 years ago, made with such tremendous skill and artistic accuracy, you have to wonder if these were not created with the purpose of remembering a detailed image of our guests' appearances then what else were they created for, or more specifically, to look like. Interestingly, some of the figures appear to have been deliberately created with missing limbs, resting on intricately made crutches, 
Was this done with a likeness to real beings, possibly battle guards against previous more hostile encounters? Anywhere you look in history, whether it be with the Incas, Mayans, Aztecs, Dogons, or anyone else, you will unavoidably encounter extraordinary accounts of ancient visitors. However, considering the widespread existence of similar myths about ancient astronauts in many parts of the planet, it seems likely that the truth is out there. Guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for being to the end of the video don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. Let's meet again with another interesting video.